In this video, I'm going to talk about the biggest mistake employed people are making in their career. This mistake not only makes them feel underappreciated, but also causes them to leave money on the table. To know what the mistake is, continue watching. Hi everyone, my name is Sonakshi Pandey and I have seven years of work experience working for some big tech employers like Amazon and Google. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the biggest mistake I have seen people make in their careers. And that mistake is not using all the benefits provided by your employer. To be honest, I'm guilty of making this mistake myself in the beginning years of my career. And the reason I did not, you know, ask my boss or my manager for the benefits is first of all, I did not know that all these benefits exist or my employer is providing them to me. That was the number one problem. After networking, making a few friends, talking to a lot of people and networking, I realized that um, my employer provides so many benefits that I'm not using. Once I found out about those benefits, I was scared to, you know, start using them right away because I thought that my manager would judge me if I ask them. And to be honest, that was not true. In the past, whenever I have asked my manager for, um, you know, for using the benefit, they have always been supportive. And you know what? Over the couple of years, I've realized that what is the worst that could happen? The worst that could happen is your employer could say, no, you can't, you know, get this reimbursement or you can't use this benefit. And in that case, there are two things. Either you can wait a couple of months and ask them again, whether they would be willing to, you know, give you a reimbursement or you could fight with them you could make a case why you deserve that reimbursement and you could get it anyways before i get into some common benefits provided by the employers let me first tell you about why you should be using these perks or benefits in the first place so the number one reason is when you use these benefits or perks you feel appreciated and valued if your employer pays for your gym membership or for a conference that you're attending or for a course that you're taking, won't you feel valued? Won't you feel happy? Right? So using benefits definitely makes you feel appreciated. Reason number two, if you are feeling appreciated, overall, it makes you feel happy and it leads to a better job satisfaction because of the perks. There is, you know, uh, there is a reason that you might stick with that employer for a little longer. And reason number three is if you're using all the perks, you're not leaving any money on the table. You're making the best use of the offer that your employer provided you. That is why whenever possible, always use all the benefits provided by your employer. In this video, I'm not going to talk about the common benefits that your employer provides you like health insurance, 401k or stocks. Right? The focus of this video is to talk about those uncommon benefits that you might not know your employer is providing you. So feel free to use this video as a checklist of all the perks. Then go and check if your employer is providing you any of these benefits. And if they are, then go and use those benefits. Okay. So with that, let's get right into it. So perk number one is reimbursing the employees for the gym costs. A lot of times employers are either affiliated with a few gyms or they provide you with a monthly or a annual, you know, lump sum amount that you can use towards your health reimbursements. Perk number two is internet reimbursements. When COVID started and when all the employees started working remotely, a lot of employers started reimbursing their employees for the internet. So go and check if your employer is providing you any kind of a reimbursement for your home internet. Number three, a lot of employers either partially or fully cover the costs of any workshops or conference related to your job. So I remember in 2016, I attended the Grace Hopper conference and I remember my employer paid for not only the conference ticket, but also my hotel stay and also uh, for any, you know, miscellaneous expenses like Uber cost or food cost, uh, you know, um, generated when I was attending the conference. So this is a great way for you to get a chance to like attend these industry events, meet new people, network, learn something new and take it back to your team or take it back to your employer to show them what you have learned through these events. Benefit number four, 
a lot of employers out there give you a tuition reimbursement for any course that you're taking from a university so for example it could be a master's degree or it could be a mba degree and your employer might be able to cover the tuition cost fully or partially benefit number five sometimes employers provide unlimited pto or a lot of vacation days and i have seen so many people not use up their vacation or paid time off please don't do this if you have vacation remaining don't stack it up instead i would recommend go and use those vacation days either to go out and see the world or to take a break and spend time with your friends and your family perk number six employers out there provide a lot of gadgets to increase your efficiency when you're working from home these gadgets could be monitors ring lights webcams or mobile devices or even extra laptops so ensure that you're aware about the perks and the gadgets that your employer is providing you and you use them to ensure that you have 100% efficiency when working from home perk number 7 is option to work remotely now i know that you know since covid is almost gone and rto has started a lot of employers are still providing remote work options in spite of having a return to office policy so if you are someone who prefers to work remotely ensure that you bring this up with your manager and talk to your employer to see if they would be able to you know give you or, or, or to see if they will be able to allow you to work remotely the thing is that if you don't ask you will not get it so if working remotely is something that is important to you i highly recommend talking to your employer about it perk number 8 is a lot of employers have in house medical doctors or medical support so it is very important that you are aware about all these benefits in case of an emergency and perk number 9 is to use up the maternity or paternity leave that is provided by your employer a lot of times people question whether i should go on a 3 month leave whether it will affect my performance or whether it will affect my chance of getting promoted to be fair this leave is provided by your employer to ensure that you get that quality time with your family so i highly recommend that if your employer is providing you with a, a few weeks of leave during your maternity or paternity period you should definitely go ahead and make the best use out of it that is it for this video in this video i have only enlisted a few common perks that i have seen across a lot of employers it is quite possible that your employer is providing you with some other perks that i have not listed in this video so i highly recommend that you go back and you check all the documents and the wikis or whatever you know uh, place your employee has where they list all these things and if they are providing you with this perks if this seems something that you want to use then i highly recommend that you make the best use out of the benefits that are provided to you if you found this video to be helpful please like it and share it with your friends and family also subscribe to my youtube channel and i'm also super active on instagram where i share a lot of fun stuff related to tech and career so please follow me on instagram as well i hope you have a fabulous day and thank you for watching